Hey YouTube, Rob back again. So this time what I did, this is following my uh, cotton t-shirt sleeve wick, how to make it real easy. This one I did a little bit different as you can see. What I did was I cut a three quarter inch strips of that same t-shirt and I braided them together and just knotted them the best I could at the end. This end has like a knot that I just tied a you know, a single overhand knot to each end a couple times. That'll probably be my lighting spot because when you stick it in your fluid you want to let it soak up all the way. Once that knot gets soaked I bet that'll hold it for a while. This I'm going to keep on the bottom because when I was starting to braid I just took a, I cut a tiny another quarter inch piece and I just tied it around there so it's actually coming on tight. Hopefully it doesn't. I might just do a quick overhand there. But uh, this is what I came up with for my second wick type using a you know an old 100% cotton item. I figure see why I did it like this because I thought the braid would be thicker and it'd be more actually a wick. Because I thought about like the same. I still have these strips here the t-shirt the strips that I showed in my past video they're double ply like I said plus they have thread and everything in them so there's a lot of wicking material I figure if you just take like the sleeve itself and cut a piece and try to use it as a wick you're not going to get as much oil or fat burning as you want so your flame might be real low because of the there's less surface area but I figured a wick like this that if you you know if you if you worked it around you make a braid round if you wanted to for people that are good at this as you can see mine doesn't look pretty at all but for people that are good at it and they can go on a uh, there's a guy on YouTube I call him Tate that's how I learned how to do a uh, paracord bracelets it's called tying it all together he makes a a, a round braid and I think it uses four and it's completely round that would probably be the perfect wick you can make braided you know it'll burn real slow that's another reason why I did this because using the braid it's gonna it's gonna deteriorate real slow compared to just the regular piece of t-shirt that'll burn down real quick I mean I'm gonna test them out my net my my next series of videos I'm gonna do Right now I have three in mind and they're all to do with these types of wicks and I'm going to use different fuels. I'm going to use Crisco, I'm going to use sesame oil, sesame seed oil, I'm going to use canola oil and regular vegetable oil. And then uh, <coughs> we usually cook breakfast on, like full breakfast on Sundays when, you know, everybody's home because my daughter's starting school tomorrow and my girlfriend's working, you know. So on Sunday I might collect a little bit of bacon fat if that's what we have, and uh, I'll try to do a bacon fat. I'll, I'll try to do a bacon fat candle, or maybe like you know, uh, the next time we have chicken, maybe I'll just take a piece of chicken skin and try to render it down and get as much fat from that as I can and see if I can make a candle out of that. But basically I'm gonna be working on some survival candles for like my next ten, so I'll let you know how that goes. Yay. 